Hello everybody. So today I'm doing a Q&A because at first I didn't want to make this channel about myself because I wanted to make it more of like things I do with my friends and stuff but then like I, I'm still doing that but then I was like they should kind of get to know me first so then I asked my friends and then they were like do a Q&A I was like okay I'll do a Q&A so that's what I'm doing right now Isa Roche asked me this question sorry I had to but why are you so tall so I used to hate it a lot like a lot a lot a lot because I feel like I would just meet people and the first thing they would say is wow you're so tall and like I hated that but now like I've just kind of learned to embrace it because it's like there's nothing I could do about it like so many people have just told me like I'm already over it like but my dad is 6'3 6'4 and my mom's like 5'9 my brother's 6'3 and I landed like right between my mom and my dad's height, so I'm like 5'11", 6 feet. From Cam Figueras, it said, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live and why? Um, I kind of love Miami because, I don't know why, I've just always had like a connection with Miami. Like everyone's always like, I hate Miami, I can't wait to leave for college. Like I love Miami, I think it's so beautiful. But if I wouldn't live here, I'd probably live in LA. Someone asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And Stephanie Murphy asked, what's your dream job? So I kind of want to go into like modeling and fashion when I grow up, but my dream job is like having like something like the Ellen show, like a talk show kind of, but like fun, like the Ellen show, or being like a host of like America's Got Talent, like Tyra Banks and Nick Cannon do, cause that looks so fun. Or like photography and like video making, because I like um, making videos and stuff. What's something you wish everyone knew about you? Um, okay, oh my gosh, I have an answer to this. Something that I wish people knew about you is that I'm actually a very approachable person. I said earlier, I think, that I transferred schools this year, and, like, once I became closer to certain people, like, they were like, oh my god, Lena, like, I was honestly so scared of you, I thought you were gonna be so mean, but you're actually, like, so different than I expected. I'm like, why did you think that? Like, people are like, I don't know, you just look intimidating. Like. Everybody, just because I'm tall, just because like I look intimidating, I don't even think I look intimidating, but people tell me that. Doesn't mean that like I'm not approachable. Like, I love meeting new people, I love making new friends. Like if you literally Snapchat me and you're like, hey, wanna be friends? I will literally be like, yes. Like so many people are like, that's so weird. Like why would I ever do that? I would love that. If you wanna be friends, Snapchat me right now. I wanna be friends and I will actually like, I would not find it weird at all. And people are like, that's so weird. I don't find that weird. I don't know why. If that's weird, then I don't know. But I don't find that weird. How old are you? Um, I am 16 years old. I turned 16 in August. August 2nd. That's my birthday. Did you dye your hair? No, I did not dye my hair. My mom doesn't let me. This is my natural hair color. Isa Spino asked, Why is chemistry your favorite subject? because just the teacher who taught me chemistry is so amazing. That's why. This question was asked by Isa Zumpano. What was your most embarrassing moment? There's a quick story time. Um, we made it, like, it was like nationals. We were at nationals in Orlando, I think. And this was for my studio. And we made it to like the top 10 out of the whole competition. And we're like super excited, so we have to stay an extra day so that we could compete again to get like the national title. <laughs> and we, we go on stage, we're performing. At the end of the dance, there's a part we have to run around in a circle. And I slipped on my skirt and fell on my face. This was literally, what, last year? Summer going into sophomore year? Yeah. So embarrassing. Like, so embarrassing. Text me if you want the video because I'm not putting it on here. But you're so pretty. How is it possible? Thank you. Someone put, you're ugly. Thank you. <laughs> someone, oh, what's the, what's the worst thing someone's ever called you? Oh my gosh. I can make a list of things people have called me. People have called me like, let me start, let me think. We have Praying Mantis. You know who you are, but I'm friends with you now, so I don't really care. Um... I have giraffe. I get that one all the time. Horse. 
I've been called whole wheat spaghetti. <laughs> that was actually funny. Like, at first, it would kind of bother me, but then I was like, no, nah, people are going to say that shit to, like, obviously piss you off. Like, yeah, not everyone's going to think you're pretty. Like, that's not something you could control. But yeah, people are going to call you names. There's nothing you could really do about it. Some people do it out of jealousy, and some people actually think that. Like, what are you gonna do? Comment or like text me video suggestions that you guys have so that I could do them. Because like, yeah, I wanna do what you guys wanna watch. And yeah, thanks for watching.